good morning good afternoon and good evening so i was getting a request to make a video how to flash the stock rom on the xiaomi mobile phone so in my case i have redmi note 13 which is soft brick it is booting only into fast boot mode let me restart the phone to show that the phone is not porting to any rom it got restarted and the mi logo appears let's see it will boot into fast boot mode once again now in this case like uh, the set is not booting further so in this case the data will get formatted anyway if you are trying to flash any rom the data will get formatted but uh, in my case i cannot uh, save the data because the phone is not booting into any rom those who have a, a custom rom and uh, like uh, flashing a different custom rom on any xiaomi mobile phone sometime you will see that uh, base band is missing network is not working why is that because sometime the boot image gets corrupted always using or trying a different custom a custom rom on the mobile phone so we have to flash the stock rom once back on the mobile phone sometime and then we can flash the custom rom sometime the custom rom requires stock latest boot image to work on the mobile phone so starting the video do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel also click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you i appreciate so these are the files that i have downloaded and uh, the device that i got is redmi note 13 without nfc hardware mobile phone I have downloaded the stock latest hyper os rom 1.0.4 and also i have be need to have me flash i use 2017 version which never gives any error if we follow the steps correctly now how to download the stock rom the website link is provided in my video description click the link and me firm website will get open now here you need to uh, type the model number model name or code name in my case i have redmi note 13 r e d m i n o t e n redmi note 13 here you can see many redmi note 13 models which have 5g which 13 pro and this is the nfc my mobile code name is sapphire s a w p h i r e here is one more redmi note 13 hardware which have nfc i will not go for the nfc device my mobile phone is 4g redmi note 13 code name is sapphire so do, do do not mix the thing which will get mess if you flash this uh, s a w p h i r e n for rom on the non nfc device so i will uh, click on this redmi note 13 sapphire and will come down this mobile phone have only global rom available on the website click on the global and come down and uh, you can see fast boot section over here and zip stable section over here i'm not going for the zip file because zip file is other thing or other procedure flashing it on the mobile phone i will go for the fast boot and stable are provided over here go for the latest one which is currently available any version currently it is 1.0.1.0.4 available then click the download here over here the other page will op get open come down here just check the things redmi note 13 sapphire and pgz means that fast boot file around 6.8 gb I come down here click on any server yeah, it will start downloading i will click on the download server me firm because i'm getting a good speed from this server now first of all if you are not having me flash install on your windows then must extract it first and then double click the file install it on your windows and then extract the rom stock rom file in same folder okay after extracting open the extracted folder you will find one more folder inside if you double click this folder you will see all the files of flushing or in provided in the uh, inside folder now copy this particular folder the inside one from here and must go to your main c drive partition d drive partition do not copy or do not leave this folder in subfolder otherwise the me flash will show an error every time copy this particular folder do not paste this folder even on the desktop or on, on the in the documents folder 
I advise you to copy it and co paste it on any main hard drive partition. In my case, I will go for the C drive and I will paste the folder on the main hard drive of my C partition. So we got the folder copied in my main C hard drive partition. If I double click on the folder, yes, I got all the files over here. So I will minimize this uh, window and I will go to desktop where I have the Xiaomi flash icon. Double click the Xiaomi flash. Click yes on next window. The Mi flash tool will get open. On the Mi flash tool, click select then go to your downloaded folder. In my case, I will go for, I will go to my C partition. I will click on it. And I will look for a Sapphire folder. Here we go. This is the Sapphire Global Image Hyper Operating System, Invite 14. Click on it and click OK. So the Mi Flash tool is uh, almost ready to flash the ROM. Now coming back towards the mobile phone. So the mobile phone must be have a lock bootloader. Definitely, if you are a flashing a custom ROM, your mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked. In case those who are watching this video and uh, does not know about uh, unlocking bootloader they need to unlock the bootloader first then you can flash the stock ROM if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader I will leave tutorial video link in my video description you can watch that video and unlock the bootloader first and then you can follow the further steps now in my case my mobile phone is soft brick not putting in any ROM so I will flash the ROM directly on my mobile phone but in case if you are having a custom ROM or if you want to update manually you need to do few steps like uh, in any ROM first of all save all the internal storage data charge the mobile phone battery like around 50 to 60 percent so the mobile phone can get the ROM easily and if you are having account login like Gmail account me account sync your me account and remove it sync your google account and remove it and if you are having a lock screen password then turn off the lock screen password and then you can simply power off the mobile phone when mobile phone gets power off totally and boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode by pressing the volume down key power key in few seconds like you will see fast boots uh, appears then release both keys in my case my mobile phone booted already in fast boot mode and i have got an unlock boot loader already i will connect the cable with my mobile phone the windows will give you a sound that device is connected click refresh on the mi flash tool so the mi flash tool will detect the device here we go if the device is get detected by the mi flash now come down here in my case i will not relock the bootloader i will just flash the rom and i will uh, leave my boot mobile phone bootloader remain unlocked i will go for clean all this thing will also get changed after selecting the clean all you can see flash all and if i go for the clean all and lock you will see that flash all lock which means that the rom will get flash the data will get format but the bootloader will also get relock i do not want to relock my bootloader because i am a tester i test many custom roms so i will keep my bootloader remains unlocked those who do not want to keep the bootloader unlocked they want to relock then leave the selection like clean all and lock those who want to have an unlock bootloader all the time go for the clean all select and then go up click flash the flashing will get start soon it will take a time now we have to wait let the flashing completed then we will continue So the mobile phone will get reboot automatically and the uh, Mi Flash tool will show success. So you can close the Mi Flash tool. We are done from the computer. And disconnect the cable from the mobile phone when you see Mi logo. And wait for to the mobile start booting. The first boot will take a long time. So we have to wait. First boot completed. Complete the setup screen.
So finally, the stock ROM is back on the mobile phone. We'll go to settings, go so about phone. This is the Hyper OS stock ROM 1.0.4 that I just flash on my mobile phone. The Redmi Note 13 Sapphire and white version 14. So this is how it is supposed to be done to unbreak the soft brick mobile phone flash the stock rom back on the mobile phone if you got help by this video do not forget to like the video keep sharing it to others thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye